What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a very simple YouTube logo. This could be for a gaming channel, any type of channel. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do it. Uh, the only thing you'll need is paint.net. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it without the plugin today, just to make it more easier on yourselves. So first things first, once you have paint.net opened, you go to file, you go to new, and you can make it 1000 by 1000 for the image size for your logo. And I'm going to click add layer right there. And I already picked out what I want. So I'm gonna go to Google. You could type in whatever kind of background you want. You could do cool red background. I think that's what I typed in for this. So I'm gonna click, right click it. I'm gonna click copy image and I'm gonna open paint.net. And now I'm going to click control V to paste it. And I usually do keep canvas size so I can adjust the photo. So I'm just gonna hold shift and left click and hold to keep the aspect ratio like that and i'm just going to adjust it a bit more once i have it adjusted i'm just going to click escape and i can go on to add a new layer so i'm going to click that and right now i'm just going to give an example let's do the letter a we're going to click add layer we're going to go to text we're going to click here and we're going to change the size let's make it 175 let's type in over there hold on 175 there we go i'm gonna have to make it a bit bigger let's try 400 and even bigger let's do 600 okay so that should work i'm just gonna backspace this i'm going to change the color of the text to white and i'll make it the letter a or it could be the initial of your YouTube channel name. So I just typed in the letter A and I'm gonna change the font. I do have a bunch of fonts that I installed. If you guys wanna download your own fonts, you can go to defont.com. I'll make a tutorial on that as well, but let's just scroll down. I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna click escape. And what I'm gonna do now is click add layer and back over here and Again, you can type in any type of texture you want. For this one, I did paper texture. So I'm gonna right click it, copy image. And now I'm going to control V. I'm gonna control V right now. And same thing, I'm gonna hold shift and left click and drag over it, just so it covers. I'm gonna click escape. Here's the tricky part. Right now you wanna select the letter, that layer. So left click. And here you wanna to go to the magic wand. And right now you wanna click anywhere besides the letter A, cause I know the letter A is kind of right here. So I'm gonna click outside of it. I'm gonna hold shift and left click. Okay. And now I'm going to left click on the textured layer, layer four. And now I'm gonna use the erase tool and I'm gonna put it to 1000. And now I'm gonna erase. And now I'm going to escape. Okay. And right now you can drag that layer up. I'm going to click the paint bucket and I'm going to hold shift and left click on the letter. And now I'm going to drag this under. And now I'm going to click effects, blurs, Gaussian blur. And let's say, let's make it 25. So you could already see, when I zoom in, you could already see a bit of an outline. To thicken that up, all you have to do is make sure that the, the black letter is selected and click duplicate layer. Just keep, 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 keep clicking that until you find one that you're satisfied with, just like that. And now you can condense all these layers into one so it's easier for you to see. So that's pretty much it, guys. And of course, it could get more complicated. Let's say if I did want to blur the red background, I would go to effects, blurs, Gaussian blur, like that, and just adjust it to your preference. And this is without the plugin. I might do a tutorial with the plugin just because there are a few more things you can do that will spice it up, but that's pretty much how you do it. And to save the photo, all you gotta do is file, save as, Dot jpg save save 
flatten and there you go and to save it as a file type so you can come back and edit it click file save as untitled uh, pdn paint.net file and click save and there you have it guys that's a basic logo let me know if you want a more complicated tutorial with the sapphire plugin and the drop shadow plugin as well thank you guys for watching peace out